We're going to begin with the longest viper in the world, the Bushmaster of Central and South America, it reaches the gigantic length of 12 feet. It's among the deadliest of all snakes. In one Costa Rican study, Bushmasters had killed four out of five people. That's 80% of their victims, even with antivenom. Now, being a very long snake, it can strike very far. A 12 foot long Bushmaster lying flat on the ground could strike you right in the face. But it wouldn't need to strike you in the face. It would only have to nip the end of your little finger or your toe. The result would be the same. You would die. In some cases, in under 10 minutes, with a long fangs, wound, important blood vessels, and send the venom instantly speeding to the heart. Now, these snakes have another irritating habit. This is one of the few snakes known to chase you. Well, actually, rush right after you for no apparent reason. When, you, when we open up this glass, you may see an example of that. Now, these snakes uh, have a reason for chasing you, and it's not quite because they are angry. It's because of a special means of detecting the prey that they have. These snakes are pit vipers. And this does not mean they live in a pit underground. It means they have heat-sensitive pits under their eyes. And with these pits, they detect the warmth of their prey. They can find a little animal in total darkness just by feeling the heat given off from its body. Well, guess what? You are also warm. Your hand is about the size of a rat. Your foot is about the size of a rat. And to a Bushmaster out hunting, you give off the same thermal signal as their natural prey. So this is the reason we believe Bushmasters chase people. Not because they're so angry at us, but because they get mixed up. They think we are dinner. Well, we've got their dinner for them here in this bucket. Something they really, really love. Hot, juicy rats. And when I say hot, I mean really hot. Piping hot. They're floating in hot water. No, they're not swimming. They're floating. In fact, they've already sunk into the bottom. They're quite dead. At any rate, we will assume they are quite peacefully sleeping in the bosom of the Lord. And having been baptized in the hot, holy waters of the Serpentarium, we'll give off the correct thermal signature required to induce a heat-related strike. Now he's injecting gobs and gobs of deadly venom enough to kill about 10 of you. I won't say which 10. <laughs> 